rejected an appeal from Russian critic Alexei Navalny against his nine-year prison sentence. Navalny was arrested just last year upon returning from Germany, where he had been recuperating from nerve agent poisoning he believes was set up by the Kremlin. Dre Clark is joining us live with all of this. Dre? Adrian, good morning. Alexei Navalny has never been afraid to stand up to Russian President Vladimir Putin. He calls the Putin regime both deceitful and thievish. But many say Navalny's bravery really has been costly, mainly his freedom. All right, me, Oksa, we'll talk more about it. In March, Alexander Navalny was sentenced to nine years in a maximum security jail after he was found guilty of large-scale large fraud and contempt in a Moscow court. Navalny appealed his sentencing, but this morning a judge rejected that appeal, leaving his nine-year sentence as is. Navalny used his court appearance to speak out against the war in Ukraine, saying this is a stupid war, which your Putin started. This war was built on lies. One madman has got his claws into the Ukraine, and I do not know what he's trying to do this crazy thief. Now, Navalny had already been serving a two-year prison sentence in a separate case. The U.S. is among a number of our countries that believe Navalny's imprisonment is a sham and political payback for Putin. Navalny has been very critical of Putin, and he has garnered huge support from people in Russia who believe he should be the country's next president. Now, in 2020, Navalny uh, was poisoned with a nerve gas while he was on a trip in midair. Navalny believes that it was some type of nerve agent, and it was a hit job that he believes Vladimir Putin ordered. In fact, many other people who have been very critical of Putin have also suffered the same situation. However, Navalny is one of the few that actually survived. Adrian. All right. Thank you so much, Dre. Let's check in on Wall Street. The market is trying. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to click on the red subscribe button below so you can get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.